Shane Cebulski, along with Ray Ferraro. We are so looking forward to the action on this one tonight. Ray, how special is it to don the colors of your country? I got to do it four times, Gene. Some of the most proud moments of my career. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. Puck is dropped and we are underway. This has been one we've been waiting for for a while and it's time to finally see what the payoff is all about. Denied by the goaltender. Canada's got the puck against the boards. Takes the feet at the back end. Moves the puck down low. Gets in front of it. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. He got all of that one. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. And there's the whistle. Let's get the call from the official here. Boarding is the call, and Ray, it's a tough one to argue. He follows through a little bit high, a little bit hard, and it made a lot of noise. Those are often called. And out of the zone. Consider that a win for the penalty killers for now. You bet it is. Now they can get a change, get some fresh people on the ice. Here's an opportunity. He scores! Oh, the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. You want money, you go to the bank. You want bread, you go to the store. You want goals, you get into the net. The rebound's there, he puts it away. Team Canada's offense has given them a one goal lead here, but it could easily be more, Ray. Yeah, they've got the majority of shots and good chances in this first period. See what they do in the last half of it. Here's an odd man rush. Let's it go, scores! Really quick puck movement always helps when you've got the extra man. The defenders just don't catch up to it and it ends up in the net. lead now extends to two as they make their way back to center ice here. Probably a little surprising. It's not more than two, James. They've had the majority of shots on goal and the majority of the dangerous chances. Along the wing up the neutral zone. There's the physical side. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. The first period comes to a conclusion. 2-0 after 20 minutes of play. Still lots of time left in this one, but a comfortable lead already. Tonight, the whole team's club is dropping $50 gift certificates to Delmans. Proud sponsor of tonight's And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Barrett's really focused and tunneled in on the puck tonight. That first period was about as good as a goalie can play. Takes the feed at the point. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Caught him just as he was picking up speed, and he's going to pay for it with the trip. Oh, you're spinning with him. You're trying to get your stick into the puck lane, and... You end up tripping him up. Tries to get the puck to Berchi. Along the half wall with the puck. Puts it on net, and that one's turned away. Yeah. 
receives the pass. Shot in front, denies him in front. Huberto swooping in on the attack. Trying to turn on the Jets here. Scores! Pretty deceptive move here. Short little breakaway, he makes no mistake. Wow, he rifled that past the goaltender. He had such good speed, the goalie's backing up quickly, but he can't get to the spot where the puck is. Canada's center makes his way back to center ice here for the face-off. What a performance by these guys tonight. They've been terrific, dominated the game at both ends of the ice. The pace of the game is what they want, and they're comfortably in front. Takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Tavares. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Turns it away. There it is. He scores! All over the rebound. And he taps it in. Oh, Shooter puts his own rebound away. That's a nice play. But man, the goalie burped this rebound out. Made it way too easy for him. Offensive onslaught continues. What are you seeing down at ringside, Ray? Domination. They've been the better team for most of this night. Now they're in such a large lead, it's very comfortable. Slides it back to the blue line. Moves it to Fiala. Too many bodies in the way. It's in the back of the net. He scores! This is terrific work. They stayed on the forecheck even after they had the initial couple of shots. They worked to get the puck back. Eventually, they break them down and score a goal. Switzerland's back to center ice. What's the message here? Because there's still a long way to go. I don't think anybody looks too far ahead. They just, you got one goal, try and get another. Try and get yourself within shouting distance. And now it's over to Heischer. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Heischer's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Reaches in with his stick and gets nabbed for the trip. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. McDavid's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Wrists one, scores, and the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. Now that's just critical. You control the puck off the faceoff, and before the penalty killers can really get set, you've worked the puck for a shot. This time, it's in the net. Team Canada's refused to let up that chokehold here in the late stages of this second period. Total control of the hockey game from the beginning, and they have piled it on here in the middle frame. Puts the puck on net, big time stop with the glove. Takes it across the blue line. Sends a pass over. He scores! He completes the hat trick! And here come the doors opening up. They'll come out to clean up the hats that are going to be tossed onto the ice. Three times he's been able to score tonight. Hard to get him much quicker than that. A pair of goals in 40 seconds. I think we can officially call this one a route now. Yeah, this is a steamroll. This is over. Now, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. Canada's offensive performance is still in full effect here, even in the late stages of this period. They haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal yet. They are still pushing for more offense. Horn sounds to end the second period. And by number six, Shane Weber. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 57 seconds. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. Moves it around a 
goal on the half wall. Quick feed to Spiza. On the one-timer. Answers it with an even better save. And off the save, that one's redirected out of play. Pierce's going to play it against the half wall. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Scores! Oh, what a one-timer to bury it! Man, these burn the coaching staff. When they see a player get open in the high slot, the first thing they're going to look for is who's supposed to be standing near him. Switzerland's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scorers out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. Puck grab by Siegenthaler. Oh, that's a good look from the guys in the truck there. Look how he lines them up, times it perfectly, and throws his shoulder right through them. Number 20. Replaced by number 63, Leonardo Ginoli. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Petrangelo's made this part of his game. He levels his opponent here. Team Canada's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, up big time late in this third. O'Reilly's won the draw. Puck picked up by Weber. Big time stop there. Take it along the wall by Point. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Comes up with the stop. He scores. That didn't take long. Now the coaches get uh, the chance after giving up a goal, they make a change. He puts the right guys on the ice because they go right back down the ice and score. That's a pretty big blunder in the defensive zone. It cost them a goal there. having a lot of fun out there tonight but Ray I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench yeah half the guys out here are having fun the other half this game can't end quick enough O'Reilly's won the draw here in the open ice quick pass to Yossi and a strong defensive effort to get in front of that trying to shake loose he's in all alone he scores oh! It's really kind of cool to think about how many decisions you have in about two and a half seconds. He's on the breakaway. Now he looks where the goalie's standing, whether the goalie's backing up, whether he's going faster than the goaltender, and he laid the deke on, and he doesn't miss. Canada's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. Ray, you look at the numbers, and in this case, the numbers don't lie. The better team won this one. Yeah, this is one easily you can marry your eye test to the numbers test and say, yeah, they both work. That team deserved to so win. So the analytics crew and the, and, the, and the hockey crew could actually see eye to eye on this they one. They could actually get along. And that'll do it. For Ray Perro, I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.